It's a mess out there this morning. We warned you and it's playing out exactly the way we thought it was going to. Showing up some of that blue on the map now in the southern part of Wake County. That's where you're going to find the best chance of hydroplaning. So the most dangerous area for travel at the moment. Now let's go live to I-40 westbound in Durham County where you can see this is near the Davis Drive exit. And I will tell you, obviously this is causing some major backups for folks trying to get out of Wake County in the direction of Durham County. So keep in mind you might want to take NC 54 instead because we have multiple crashes on I 40. So let's go back and take a look at the other crashes that you do need to worry about this morning. Um, 54 is the best option and the reason for that is we have a crash on I 40 near Aviation Parkway. It's not causing nearly the delay that you just saw a few moments ago, but it's certainly causing some problems and this one's also causing stop and go traffic, but it does appear that it's in the process of clearing. It's Fayetteville Road at Purser Drive. I know Fayetteville Road, a very busy area for folks this time of morning. Just seeing orange and yellow at I-40 westbound near Aviation Parkway. It would be red if all of the lanes were blocked. So my guess is this crash is off onto the shoulder, but it's still slow going. And it's not long after you pass Aviation and 540 that you're going to run into the delays because of the Davis Drive crash. So if 54 is an option for you, I certainly would take it. Good news, the truck that was blocking so much of I-40 westbound early Earlier this morning has been moved off to the side, but you can see the arteries coming into Raleigh from the south are jam packed because of the crashes. And these are just the big crashes. We have serious crashes on uh, roads that aren't as busy as these interstates. So just be careful when you go out there this morning. The roads are a mess, not just because of crashes, but that rain has really been heavy at times, Amber and John.